Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Haunting photographs show the inside of the Airbnb in Tenerife, where British teenager Jay Slater partied before he went missing. Jay left the NRG festival with two new pals who had hired a car and it's believed they traveled to a property in rural Deteno Park. His final Snapchat picture was an out-of-focus image of a hand holding cigarettes in Buena Vista del Norte, which sits within the park. Now it can be revealed the two-bedroom property is called Casa Abuela Tina and is in the village of Masca, according to Mail Online. The farmhouse is listed on Airbnb as set in a unique natural landscape and costs £40 per night. An online post reads, It is a house with two bedrooms, two bathrooms, living room and kitchen ideal to enjoy the tranquility, reading, hiking or nature. The house has Wi-Fi and all the necessary appliances for a comfortable stay in one of the most beautiful and rugged places on the island, nestled in the heart of Macizo de Teno. Friend Lucy Law revealed she had tracked down the house where Jay stayed and was told he had left on Monday morning. The two men said Jay went out for cigarettes before going back to the property and saying he wanted to go home. It's not known where he would have bought the cigarettes. Lucy said, we managed to find the house. I knocked on the door and there were two people there. They told me Jay had spoken to the next door neighbors and they'd told him there was a bus every 10 minutes back down to Los Cristianos. The bus stop was right next to the house. So obviously if he'd gone to get the bus he wouldn't have got lost because it, the stop, was visible from the front door. It comes as Jay was spotted walking alone by locals before his disappearance. A local woman has revealed details about the two men Jay was last seen with and claimed he was seen walking on his own. Araceli works in the business next to the rental property Jay was believed to have stayed at before going missing. The grandmother of missing British teenager Jay Slater has spoken for the first time about her fears for her beloved grandson. Speaking from her chalet on the outskirts of Clitheroe, Mr. Slater's grandmother, June Duncan, described how her family had been trying to shield her from the speculation surrounding his disappearance. June, 77, said, I don't read newspapers, but it's been on the news on telly so much I can't escape it. I've not spoken to Debbie much, but other family members are keeping me updated. My son came to see me on Tuesday and he flew out there yesterday. He's gone with, Jay's, cousin to try and help, but I don't know what they can do. I wouldn't be able to go out there, and I'm not sure what help I'd be, I just keep hoping for good news. I can't even begin to imagine how Debbie is. She rang me and said he'd gone missing. She didn't tell me at first, I think she was trying not to worry me, but then, as time went on, she told the mirror, I never saw the missing boy but I know people saw him walking on his own. I saw the two British men who stayed here. They came in for Café Con Leche a couple of times. One was aged about 40. The other one was slightly younger. They arrived on Saturday and were due to stay until Monday, but they left on Tuesday. Lucy said Jay had gone to stay with people he met on Sunday night who were staying in an apartment that was miles away from civilization and in a very secluded location. She added that he had left the apartment at 8 a.m. on Monday and walked for half an hour before frantically ringing her.